Hey guys, so um, today I'm gonna make a new video of how to build a map in Descenders because this one is getting quite old and I always can improve a little and this time I also include how to add grass or rocks. I'll show you how to do that and to make sure that you choose the right assets and if you make a mistake choosing the wrong asset that how to like get it out of the map so you don't have to lose your whole map, you know. Uh, I had a lot of that experience until I finally learned how to fix that. But I'll be showing you guys today how to basically build a map with a few other tips. So firstly, we're going to install the Unity. So you're going to have to click here, open this link. Then you're going to click on whichever one you use. If you use Windows, Mac OS or Linux, I use Windows. So I would click here and then that will install it then you'll open this up and install it when you're done with that when you open unity it's going to ask you to log in so then you'll log in or create an account uh shouldn't be a problem it's quite easy uh and then after that you'll have this page and then you create a new project you call it whatever you want um then you create the project and then it's going to take a while to load so when you load it in you should have this just it's going to have just the main camera and a directional light that's all would you what you will have and um now what you're going to have to do is install the asset pack for descenders so you'll go to this link and you open that up and then you download it now that, that will take a little bit, it will take a few minutes. Go to your file explorer wherever you like saved it. So this is it. So what you can do is you can either drag and drop it. But I like to do this where you go to assets, you go to import package, custom package. Then you go to your wherever you saved it and descend as custom map. You open that up. And now this is going to take a while. One more thing I forgot to add is after it loads, you will also get this and you just click on import and then it will start doing the download. Get the export mod. So let's quickly get that it will be this link, but in the new video, it will be over here and then you're going to press download. After you download that and it's done downloading, go to where you've downloaded it. There it is. And then just drag and drop it over here and then import it. Okay, so when you're downloading in, you will see that you've got this art and sample. So the sample, they just give you like an example of what it looks like. But the thing is, um, when you start building your map, you must delete this. Because if you don't delete this and you export the mod, it's going to export the sample instead of your map. So make sure you delete this before you start doing anything okay so firstly what we're going to do now is get my textures there will be a link to download my textures it will be in this file then all you do is you select all of these and then just drag and drop them right here in the assets and now because these are quite big textures it's going to take a slight bit to load in you firstly you're going to delete the main camera because it's uh you first you don't need it and secondly if you keep it in your map it's gonna mess it up so delete that you can keep the direction of light you need that um then what you're going to do is here at the over here you're going to right click on it hover over 3d object and then you're going to press terrain so here's your terrain and i think you can now see what i mean by blinding so what you're going to do is you're going to go click on this brush you're going to click on edit textures add texture so just so, so that you know the first texture you add is going to be the whole terrain's texture you can drag it so you can drag it and then don't put it here you put it here and then after you do that make this one to one because it is quite big otherwise and then it will make it nice and small like that if i'm going to edit this texture now and make it keep it at 15 it's quite a bit bigger so yeah you just keep keep it at one so now what we're going to do is we're going to just make a simple map to write on just to test it okay so i changed quickly the terrain color for me because the other one was too bright i just clicked here and i selected the texture what i had previously and then just pressed edit texture and dragged this one on 
that's all i did there so now let's start building first thing we're gonna do is go to art gameplay and then we can go to ramps pref prefurbs or prefurbs i don't know how you say it so i just want to say before we go back to ramps do not use the fpx that's not gonna work use the prefurbs you always use the prefurbs for everything um so let's just use this one we're gonna use this jump over here um okay so now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna work on the terrain so you left click on the terrain here now select the terrain then you're going to press this one so this is paint height so this will raise heights and everything like this if you're holding left mouse it will do that but if you want a more controlled height you use the the this one the pref the height pa paint height and then what you can do is to select a specific height you can do left shift and then left mouse click you see and it selects that height but right now we don't have a height so just make it five type in five or something so yeah, that's quite high mix three so you can do that and then if you want to smooth out the edges you can use this tool it, that's how much like it smooths out so you can do more or less i'll just do as much as possible and then you just hold in left mouse and do that and then we need the start and the finish you always have to add a start and a finish to your map otherwise it's not going to work so what's nice here about you can click here and it'll show everything what you have there is start click that remember prefabs not fpx you select that start highland press you can select all the tools over here or you can use w e r t and y um so it's up to you what you feel more comfortable with using let me uh, fix that and then you can make either you make a landing by just using the same ramp or what you can do if you want to copy and paste the same ramp press ctrl c and then ctrl v and then just move it and you have it copied um and this is the rotation that's e on the keyboard and w is for the movement so if you want to make things bigger or smaller if you press r you can use these to make things wider taller more forward or um taller as you can see so let's but you can also use the terrain tools to make a landing so i'm going to do that you can do this if you want a steep landing you just do this and then smooth it out if you want like a more gradual you can do that then make it three and then paint over here like that that's actually a bit too big with a gradual part you need to make it smaller the block so like that move it that out so you just smooth it out and that would make a rough landing it, this making landings with the terrain can be sometimes quite difficult um but if you get it right it's worth it so now if you want to make like a trial path for like the riding click on the paintbrush press edit textures add texture and then go to click here on assets and then drag the ground here and also make that one to one scale and now you just hold in left mouse click oh wait sorry no you first have to select it here then hold left mouse click and then you get your path like that just like that easy stuff um so now i will show you how to get and crop okay so what you're going to do is you're going to click on asset store and then uh i found this nice grass pack it's called grass and flowers pack one you can search for that up and then you just press download and then import it and that small box here is going to again pop up with that import button and you're going to press import after that you should be able to have the grass and flowers pack um, and then after that what you're going to do is to add grass to your map is you're going to go back click it on your scene 
and then what you're going to do is you're going to click on your terrain and then you'll see that it says paint details so then what you're going to do is you're going to press edit details as add grass texture then you're going to go to the grass and flowers pack and then you're going to select grass and then you select whichever one you want i'll take grass two and then you just drag and drop it not in this one in this one and that should give it to you and here you can change this maximum width and size you have like a variety in a way and change the color of the grass you want to you just press add then you press back on the terrain and there it is so then what you're going to do is you can choose how much like you want so you see that's a lot thicker just warning never use too much because it can start lagging the game when you export the mod and play it in the game so try your best not to use too much you can go wherever you want so don't worry if you can't see it when you go further away i think it's like just to optimize the editor so don't worry about that if you well, worried about it okay dang it so i'm gonna just do this quickly and you'll see this the ending how it looks okay so i've decided now i also want to add some flowers just for the looks so what i'm gonna do is, is you're gonna do edit add grass texture you're gonna go back to assets grass and then look for the flowers and then you're gonna select uh this one you just press add uh, there it is now I, I usually don't use too much of them but yeah that's basically how it is sometimes you have to resize things because they can be sometimes quite a bit bigger than they should be because like these are freaking big flowers ah actually no they're not they fairly right size um so yeah this is what i've come up with not the greatest but it's just for an example so now I'll show you how. To so guys, I don't know why I couldn't find any tree working. It was giving me errors the whole time. Um, that was quite disappointing. And I can't really help you guys with that, unfortunately. But if you guys find a tree that works, it's quite simple. You go on the terrain, click there, edit and add a tree. And select the tree you have. Uh, but as you can see, I don't. Because I can't find one right now for some reason um but basically that's what you would do and you would just paint around the same like with the grass when you when you're done with that what you're going to do is you're going to press here to export it you're going to press tools mod tool export mod make your name and everything select what um platform you use for now when you're testing the map and when you officially up send the map then you can like select all linux and osx um so yeah after that you select where you want the output directory i always put it just in the game because it's quicker to test maps you don't have to close the game and reopen it you just refresh the mod um like mod area and then it, you, sh you should see it in the game again your map so then when you got everything like this together you just press export mod okay so when it's done exporting what you're going to do next is if you didn't put it in the center file right away so you're going to take the file just imagine i take my file you go to your game um and you go to mods and you just paste it in here and then what you're going to do is you're going to open s steam and you're going to start the game up and then you'll go to the mod Okay, so you just go to the menu and then you click on mods and then you click on the YT video 2 and then it's gonna unpack, it takes a little bit sometimes so yeah here's the map I made as you can see it works perfectly, the grass looks nice maybe a bit tall, you can make it smaller um, and that's how you build a map um, thing is with building these maps you have to be careful with it because um, and make sure you do everything right because if you make a small mistake you can make an error and then make you struggle a lot and take hours to figure out what the problem is so make sure you be make sure what you do and not make any mistakes oh uh, yeah that's how you make a map please like and subscribe and enjoy building maps